In this lesson, we're going to learn how to navigate between two screens. For example, if I in that home screen, I want, for example, to navigate from home screen to screen A. And what if I want to move from screen A to screen B? How to do this using React Native? That's what we're going to learn today. First, you need to install that package, React Native, React Navigation. Let's type in Google React Navigation and open that link. Let's press on Read Docs, get started. Let's install that package, Yarn Add React Native, React Navigation slash Native. Let's install it. Let's go down here. If you are using Expo, use that command. If you are using React Native CLI, use that command. That's if you are using NBM, but we are using Yarn, so press here to use Yarn and install those two packages here. Let's go down. Now let's install our bots because that's very important to iOS. Now let's go down, go down. That's great. Now we need to install another package called Stack Navigator. Let's search about it. React or Stack, Stack Navigator. Let's press on this. Let's open it in a new link. And let's install that package using Yarn. Let's install it here and go down. Let's install that to React Native Gesture Handler. And let's install our bots for the iOS. Now, after we have installed our packages, let's create our routes and learn how to move between screens in React Native. Let's go to the documentation. Here, if you see, we need to import that navigation container from React Navigation. We need to import that navigation container from React Navigation. So let's import it in app.tsx and let's copy that line of code and wrap it here and paste it here in this navigation container. Let's add that home screen here. Now let's format our code. Now let's add our route. So if you get back to the documentations of the Stack Navigator, if you see here, just copy that, press here to copy that code and let's go here and create a folder called navigation. Let's add a file called stack navigator and let's paste it here. Now that's the, our code that we have copy it from, our, from the documentation. Let's rename it Stack Navigator and let's export it. We've just made that export to allow us to use it here in app.tsx because we need to, impor to, to import it in app.tsx and in React Native when you use to when, we, when you want to use a code in, in file to another file, you just to export it and import it to the file that you want to use in. Okay, so now let's customize our navigator. First route is gonna be home screen, and the component will be home screen. Home screen is that screen. 
with that text. Okay? We have here also screen A and screen B. Let's remove that settings and add screen A and screen B. Those are the route names that we are gonna need when we want to go from screen to another. We need that name to indicate to what, which screen we want to move on. So those names are important, are very important. The screen A route name is for screen A component. And screen B route name is gonna be the screen B component. Don't forget to import them, okay? I'm in VS Code, there is an auto import that import our screens, okay? So now let's go in app.tsx and import that our stack navigator. So, stack navigator. Uh, we just need to rerun our app. So let's rerun it. Yarn. iOS. Now we have here our home screen. Let's go from home screen to screen A. That's pretty simple. Let's add a navigation crops here and let's add a button. A button with title go to screen A. And when we press that button on press, let's add that function navigation dot navigate to which screen we want. We want to move to screen A, so let's copy that trout name. Screen A. So let's copy it and put it here and save. When we press here, go to screen A. Now we are in screen A. We can go back here and go forward here. Great, isn't it? Now we are in home screen and we can go to screen A when we press here. Now we are here in screen A. We want to move from screen A to screen P. So let's repeat the step that we, we've done before. Let's add the navigation property. And let's add a button with title go to screen B. And when we press that button on press, let's navigation, but navigate. Let's go to our stack navigator and copy the route name. You have to copy the same route name so you can go to component screen. So let's copy it and paste it here and let's press on go to screen P. Now we are in screen B. If we go back, we are in screen A. If we go back, we are in home screen. Great, isn't it? Let's go to screen P and go from screen B to home screen. Okay, I think that's pretty simple. We just need to to add, that, to add that navigation property and that function to navigate from that, from that button. So let's go to screen P. That's screen P. Let's add our navigation props and let's add a button with title. Go to home screen and on press Let's navigation dot navigate. Let's go to our stack navigator and copy the route name. And the route name is home screen. So let's copy it and paste it here and save. So when we press here, we're gonna go to home screen. Let's try. Wow, we are in home screen. So now you, you've learned how to navigate from screen to another in React Native. Great, isn't it? If you like that tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this channel is gonna make you a React Native expert. And if you like that video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.